one of the biggest mistakes people make with their marketing is they focus on them and they don't focus on their clients and their customers and their desires and their goals. Yes. Because if you always have your desires in mind when you're making things, it's not going to always resonate with the people that are trying to watch them. Welcome to the LO Code Podcast, where we talk about everything from marketing to just general loan bullshit. Today, we're going to talk about how to supercharge your video and your marketing to get better results and more success. So we talked about this on another podcast a little bit, mm -hmm. but one of the biggest mistakes people make with their marketing is they focus on them and they don't focus on their clients and their customers and their desires and their goals. Yes. Because if you always have your desires in mind when you're making things, it's not going to always resonate with the people that are trying to watch them. Yeah. Right? So what I always try to do is how can I get into the mind, the exact mind of somebody that I'm trying to help? So let's say that we have a veteran mm -hmm. that wants to buy their first home using their VA benefits, but has no idea how it works, if they qualify, and they just think, you know what, maybe I just can't use it. How can I speak to them to give them the most value and help change their life, whether they work with me or not? Yes. So that's how deep I try to get when I'm thinking of my concepts and I'm putting that information out, is what information can I relay to them to when they watch that I go, you know what, thank you, and I... You know, you change that person's life. Yeah. If you can put so much goodwill out there that you don't even have to ask for business because it will come. Mm -hmm. Because people can see like you're generally, genuinely trying to help them solve a problem or get a better result out of life. And they trust you. And they trust you. Yeah. But the thing is, it's not faking it. It's that was the true intention when you when I make it. Yes. And when you have that true intention in your mind and in the energy that you're putting out, people can sense that. Yeah. And you just have to know that over time, it will come back to you. But if you're like, oh, I'm going to do this and it's just going to get this outcome. Whenever I've done that, it's usually the worst performing videos or marketing that I've done. Yeah. Where, but when I say, okay, here's how I want to change somebody's life. I'm going to make this content and then I'm going to give them a nice soft call to action to be able to reach out to us or to go to our website if they need any extra help or want our opinion. Yeah. That's it. I, one of the mistakes that I see a lot of people making, and I kind of, uh, you know, it, I'm sure that it does resonate with some people, but I see a lot of loan officers that are going super in depth on videos and it is so far, like some of the things that they're talking about, I'm like, I don't even understand what they're talking about because like, you know, bonds and blah, blah, blah. Um, you have to remember that the average person that you're talking to even if they've already bought a house, it could have been so long ago. The process has changed. Guidelines have changed. And I think that because we're surrounded by you know, loans all day, every day, we forget that the majority of people don't understand the very, very basics. No. And I even forgot about that until I was just talking to one of my girlfriends who is, you know, looking to buy her first house. And I said, hey, you know, let me answer any questions that you have. She's not even in my area, but I'm going to help her out. And the questions she, questions she was asking were like so basic, like 101, you know, loan 101 that I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot that mm -hmm. the average person doesn't know these very, very basic things. So, so this, yeah, this all goes back to they made that video for them to make themselves feel smart. Yes. Rather than trying to actually help somebody. Yeah. Do not make it for you. You know, we... If you're good at what you do, people are going to know that you're smart. You don't have to go so into the weeds to prove that you're smart because for a lot of people, all that does is just turn them off and they just they just go somewhere else. Like, if you're talking so above somebody's head and they don't understand you anyways, they're going to turn it off and move on with their life. Right. They're not going to keep listening to something that they don't understand. I mean, same thing holds true for sales. If you're on the phone with somebody... And you're somebody that's talking so over their head the whole time, but then they're talking to somebody else and they're shopping you and they make it so crystal clear and and they feel very comfortable in speaking to them and they understand everything. They're going to go with the person. Most likely they're going to go with the person that made it so clear and made them feel so comfortable about the process rather than the person that overcomplicated everything. And they're just like, oh, this is this is just so overwhelming. Yeah. 
So there's something to that. I think. Oh, it's a huge sales tactic. Like I've had a lot of people call and they're shopping other people and, you know, I'm breaking down the loan estimate because they have it in their hands and they don't understand. And just me taking that time to break it down for them. Guess who they trust? Me. Guess who just stole that deal? Me. And here's another thing that's interesting too, is if you start, let's say fifth grade level, everything that you do should be fifth grade level. Yeah. But that does not mean that you can't get into the weeds if you have that specific client that asks you. That's yep. when you bring out the big tool belt and say, okay, we're going to dig in and we're going to go into this in more granular detail. But why even open that can of worms and scare the mass majority of people you're going to work with into just being overwhelmed when they don't even they don't even want to hear it? Did you know that the average person in America has a seventh grade reading comprehension level? Oh, I thought it was so lower. It's just, it's just oh, like, comprehension. They just people just stop, <laughs> and that's where that's who you have to talk to. So it's like talking to our kids. Mm-hmm. Our kids are that age, and so yeah. trying to explain something to them that they're going to understand, and maybe they don't because they don't have that real life application. But you know, that's that's how you have to talk to them, but exactly. without being degrading, demeaning. I always like to say, hey, ask all the questions that you want. I, this isn't something that you've ever done before. This isn't something that you do very often. There's no dumb questions, and I'm happy to take the time to answer all of them. You know, and this goes into when people ask me about video equipment. I used to go into granular detail. And even with people that or what I assume was the very high comprehension level of video, they had no clue what I was talking about because they don't get into the technical aspects of things like I do. Yeah. And so I had to realize, like, oh, shoot, like, that's a waste, like, there are very few people that I can get into that and we nerd out to the extreme. I feel like you started bouncing all of that off of me because I'm like, I don't get it. I don't, or do, nor do I care. <laughs> exactly. And so it's just keeping things as simple as possible. Yeah. Even if it's a very complicated thing like video, like act, the actual technical part of video or the technical part of doing loans, 95 or more percent of people don't want to hear how the sausage is made. No, they want the basic process, what should be expected. And so I think that's one of the the keys to all of the videos that we've made. We've tried to be entertaining and then to also break it down into ways that everybody can understand it. And one of the, I think one of the, our biggest, you know, secret sauce things is uh, expelling myths. Mm-hmm. People are always worried about the negatives. They don't focus on the positives. So if you can take all of the negatives that they have and turn them into positives or you know, erase their fears around them, then they're going to resonate more with what you have to say. They're going to listen longer. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you know, this goes into all marketing is just keep keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. The, if I always just think of the kiss message, how can I make this simpler? And that has been my quest for over a decade is how can I simplify my messaging, but still get my point across and get people excited about what I'm talking about. Yeah. And it's actually really hard. It's it sometimes is. it's harder than just vomiting information because you're like, Hmm, how can I take this complicated thing and make it simple that where every, every person can understand it. Yeah. One of the key things too, that I like to keep in mind is that just about everybody is afraid to be taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. So if you can show them how they're not being taken advantage of or how something is in their best interest and break it down in a way that they can understand Mm -hmm. and they'll trust you forever. And always leave the door open to answer questions. So Mm -hmm. I always like to put an idea out there and then just say, hey, if you have specific questions about this, we're always happy to help. And that goes for marketing, video, mortgage. Because people will see something and then it will spark something else like, oh, I saw this, you know, this is concerning. And now when they raise their concern is when you can go into detail on that specific subset of it. Yeah. Don't have to go into the whole thing. Keep it basic. Answer the the tougher questions one-on-one. Exactly. And be very specific. Um, and maybe we'll prelude into a little thing we'll do in the future about sales. But a lot of people talk themselves out of a sale because they go too in depth and they yeah. and they they get people thinking and scaring them so i don't want to go too much into this one because that's a whole other topic but i think that's one that we should do in the future definitely yeah so if you want to see that one then go in the comments below and say yes please do a video on sales yeah 
The non-sales sales, because I no, am not a salesman. That's what I say, the non-sales sales. Yeah. I will never sell anybody into anything. I'm here to answer questions, to be a resource. I'm not going to tell you that you should or shouldn't do something. Exactly. But we'll get into, into that it. on the next no. one. Yes. I know. <laughs> so now I'm excited about that one. So hopefully you guys are too. If you want to learn more about what we do, marketing, go to theellocode.com. We have resources for you there. Free resources, paid resources, whatever you need. Um, we're there for you. So if you want to just supercharge your marketing with our help, go to theellocode.com and then grab a t-shirt while you're there. Let us know if you have any questions. Yes. Let us know. <laughs> Bye-bye.